Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't posted in the past couple of days, but uh, yeah, I was uh, feeling a little down and out. Um, the transmission problem I had mentioned on my van was really a problem, and uh, I limped it into a repair, and and they. Uh, checked it over and the uh, transmission is completely shot it's not even worth rebuilding so my option was to go to a, a, what they call a, a factory reman or a remanufacture and uh, it's going to give me a brand new warranty on the new transmission uh, unlimited miles so it doesn't matter how many miles i put on it it's still going to be covered well the problem is the thing that's really gotten me kind of like feeling under the weather is that uh, the whole thing's only going to cost me five thousand dollars or just a few dollars under i think it's like 49.98 something like that you know how the uh, stores put uh, $1.99 on things so you don't think it's $2. So you, you buy it because it's two cents cheaper or one cent cheaper. Well, they do that with dollars when you get up there in the thousands. So that's what they did. And uh, not very much fun. But uh, I get the van back on Tuesday. I'll have it here on Tuesday and it'll be back to normal. Right now I'm driving a rental. And... Uh, I do have AAA, so I get a discount on that, but still, uh, tack another 250 bucks worth of rental fees that are going to be going on to that uh, uh, 5000 So, it's been an expensive week, and uh, the thing is that if you want a good education, you have to pay for it. So, I did. I paid for it, and I got educated as to going to Gypsy Loot. And uh, I call them Gypsy Lude now, L-E-W-D, and Gypsy, not Jippy, or Jiffy. Anyway, you get my point. All right, let's get on to other things. You can see my screens there. Well, I got to get into those things because uh, I'm going to be having some friends coming out. That one there, too, and, and the other ones on the other side aren't as bad. This one catches all of the morning sun and a lot of the sun beats on it the longest the other side gets shaded by the uh the containers so um, i'm pretty good on that side but uh i got to get them all done uh, so i'm going to take them all off one at a time and uh re-screen them <clears throat> these in here are on the inside so i won't do those they're still in good shape i went and checked it out and uh these have got some little holes in them and that one up there is pretty much deteriorated. So I want to pull all those off and uh, rescreen them all. I'll be doing that in the next couple of days. And then over here on this one, uh, you saw how I made a cap for the, the water there. Well, I've got to flush this thing out and uh, sanitize it. And I looked up online and uh, Walmart carries the uh, sanitizing kits for these. And I, I could do this one and the other one all in, with the same sanitizer kit and have some left over. But uh, one of the things you want to remember is on these things, don't ever use household bleach thinking you're going to be able to sanitize it with bleach. Because household bleach has other things in it. It has surfactants and soaps and other chemicals you do, really don't want to be using for sanitizing water. Don't use that to sanitize your uh, your water tanks, your storage tanks, or anything like that. It's no good. If you're going to sanitize, use pool chlorine. It's a different formula, and it doesn't have all those nasties in it. And as you know, if you're swimming in a pool, and you're laughing at your friend, and you gulp down a, a big mouthful of water, you don't die from it. Well, if you try that with uh, chlorine bleach for laundry, you're going to be going to visit somebody with a, a nice white jacket on and a, a little uh, thing hanging around his neck with little rubber bands holding it up that he sticks in his ear. So you know who I'm talking about. Don't do it. All right. So we got past that. 
next thing I'm going to do is because uh, my friends that are coming out are uh, a little up there in the age. They're a couple of years older than me. Right, Bill? <laughs> anyway, they'll be coming out and uh, I want to make sure that I put a handrail on the side of the steps here so that uh, he has something to hold on to when he comes down those stairs in case he gets up in the middle of the night and has to go out and uh, uh, sprinkle on a rattlesnake or something. And uh, the other one on this side I don't think needs it because uh, it's very close to the ground. It's a, a single step down. But over here, you, as you can see, you're coming out of a narrow door. You're going to step on, a, on two wooden steps to get down. And there's going up, they've got a handle there, but nothing to hold on when you're coming down. It's so easy to fall down off of that. So I'll put a handrail on that side. And what I'm going to do with the handrail, by the way, look at the holes here. Ground squirrels. Ground squirrels. Look at this. I get ground squirrels coming from everywhere. I'm going to go on the rampage for ground squirrels. All right. So what I'm going to do for a handrail is I do have a hydraulic pipe bender. And uh, I have some of that fence piping over there. And I think what I can do is take one of the longest pieces of fence piping and uh, I can bend it so that it comes up and then goes downward and then goes back down again. So I have two legs on it with a handrail, all one piece. Then I'll use my uh, uh, post hole auger, my gas powered post hole auger, and I'll drill two holes where I need them for the, the rail and drop that down in there and then uh, split a bag of concrete, 60 pound bag of concrete between the two holes. And that should give me a nice sturdy handrail on that. So that's where I'm gonna go. All right. Let's see, what else have I got on my note here? Oh yeah, uh, nobody noticed that last Thursday I hit 2.2K. I guess that's because now they're rounding it off to uh, um, even numbers, so you don't see uh, 2,224 uh, 2, or anything like that. You just, you'll see 2.2 2 and then you won't see anything till I go to 2.3. But I did hit 2.2 on Thursday. So uh, thank you everybody for subscribing. Keep going. We're going to get there. I did look at my stats and better than 50% of the people who watch my videos on a regular basis are not subscribed. So that means that this 2.2 should be 4.4. Let's get some of those people subscribed, right? Come on, subscribe. Don't worry, you're not going to be harassed by anybody. By subscribing to my channel and clicking the notifications icon that comes up right after you subscribe, all that does is let you know when I post another video. Okay? So you're not going to get haunted. I'm not going to um, steal your personal information and sell it to corporate companies or anything like that. Don't worry. None of that bad stuff will happen. You'll be fine. So please click subscribe down there Th and I thank you very much and I'll welcome you aboard when you do all right I, I already covered the uh, the van problem the uh, work that's around here has been getting backlogged I got a bunch of junk here that's all got to be uh, put up to get ready for the winter so it's not laying down in the mud this uh, this big metal thing here um, for those of you who don't know what this is this is a tomato rack and I had it in my other garden when I lived in the OC and uh, what you do is you set this up over your tomato plants and you let them grow up through this and then you don't have to tie them up you can let them drape down over this and the tomatoes hang on underneath it so you just reach underneath and pull tomatoes and using the 6 6 10 10 wire here you can actually reach through a hole and pull a tomato from the other the other side of it so yeah those things work pretty cool uh, the one thing you want to remember is that it will sink into the ground so if you want it to stay up you got to put these little wood pads underneath the legs to keep it from sinking into the ground all right yeah I got all my stuff temporarily leaned away from the container because I'm gonna put some racks up on this side to hold some of this metal and the wood and all of that stuff um, out of sight out of my actual front yard of where I uh, live in my cabin and so I don't 
step outside and see a conglomeration of junk, I can have all of that stuff put away. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Another thing is for sanitizing in an emergency, if you really have to, um, because you put some bad water into it by accident or anything like that. Drain all the water out, put fresh water in, take a bottle of Listerine original, not the ones that have the mint flavoring and all of that stuff in it, just the original Listerine, and pour the, pour the bo half a bottle in there uh, with the water on, on that thing, then drain that out and flush it once with fresh water and then you're good to go. You can, you've got it sanitized because that Listerine will kill all germs on contact. It'll kill bacteria, it'll kill germs, all of that, all on contact. So, and if you get any of it that comes out of your faucet, the worst it's going to taste like is Listerine. <laughs> yeah, but you, you can put that stuff in your mouth and you won't die. So that's a good, good um, side thing for that. Well, let me see. I almost dropped my phone here, and I already got a cracked screen. That's one of my next things. I'm going to have to uh, uh, contact my cell phone insurance. And I've got unlimited screen repair because I just had a new screen put on this thing just a couple of months ago. But uh, when I was moving cinder block for the uh, pedestal for the new totes, I uh, accidentally pressed one up against my cell phone, which was in my pocket. And, well, the rest is history. But with all the work I've got to do here and time running short and the winter coming up fast, it seems like I'll never get anywhere, but I've got a secret weapon. That's right, 2020, the year 2020, it's not far off, right? Well, guess what? I get an extra 24 hours of work time in that year. That's right, it's leap year, folks. We will have a February 29th next year, so, I get an extra 24 hours and I'll get some work done. And because of all the um, people out there that are always trying to get rich on somebody else's dime, I also have another uh, disclaimer and a warning for those people out there, especially those people that haven't subscribed yet and might be subscribing soon. Um, here's the warning. Watching G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert, may cause addiction. The sponsors and the uh, people of this channel are not responsible for your addictions. <laughs> so, so I just had to do that. All right, that's a little lightheartedness I had to put in. All right, last before, but not least, before I uh, end up closing this thing down. Um, I will go into the garden house. That's why I started heading down here. Is, uh, we got a, a warning of um, excessive heat coming. A heat wave. Look. More ground squirrel holes. Yeah, an excessive heat wave is supposed to start here um, somewhere around Tuesday or Wednesday. And um, they're talking... A possibility of temperatures going from 114 to 117 out here in the high desert. So I'm not looking forward to that, but I'll be ready for it. I got my water here. That one's running a little low, but I got the hose here ready to uh, transfer it down from the, the blue barrels up there by my tank. They're still about half full. That's going to give me about 400 more gallons that I can fill up these uh, totes down here. These three are still full, and that one's still full, and that one's still full. So I can have some water to keep my garden going in that heat. All right, I'll go through this quickly. Boy, these tomatoes are addicting. I cannot walk past these without popping one in. Mm. Oh, those are so good. All right, my uh, pumpkin is uh, trying to head to the next county, I guess. But uh, it's got flowers, but no pumpkins on it yet. Tomatoes, I've got plenty of. I pulled a cuke off of here because I'm going to ferment some uh, pickle slices. My corn is uh, still doing its thing. And I was selling about on the other side there. There's my big watermelon right there in the patch. I think I can zoom in on that. There it is. 
and the uh, uh, the cantaloupe is in there somewhere. But I was uh, coming through here watering, and uh, where was it? Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, another nice cantaloupe. So uh, I got uh, I trimmed off some of the stems off of my uh, uh, broccoli and uh, fed it to the chickens. They liked it. I took some of the uh, jalapenos here off of the, the bush. I'm going to roast some of those with my um, bistec ranchero tonight. So I'll have some, a little bit of spicy in there. And yeah, this, uh, this is cantaloupe running down here, and it's trying to head to the next county. Aloe vera is looking good. The heat's gotten to my avocado trees, but uh, I think I'll make it. That big one over there in the center is still doing fine. It likes being shaded by the other plants, so I'm letting that go. And that's about it, everybody. Oh, there's my big cantaloupe right down in there. Starting to get the, uh, the tanning to it, so I'll be eating cantaloupe pretty soon. And I do have that cucumber down in here I need to pull off and... I'll slice that up in, in uh, spears and, and pickle it, get some good pickle spears out of it. And uh, yeah, the uh, Chinese peppers here turned red and I tried them and oh my God, it's like eating candy. They are delicious. The red is the, is the uh, deal on those. Let them go red. So I'm going to see if the, any of these taste like the last one. Hmm. Boy, that's like candy. <laughs> All right. That's about it. As you can see, just a light breeze. Humidity's up almost uh, 19%. And uh, it's uh, with the breeze that makes it feel a little bit better. It's not like a hot hair dryer in your face. But that's about it for today, everybody. I'm G-Bear reminding you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to download if you'd like to save it. Don't forget to save it if you'd like to save it. That's all. G-Bear signing off.